But here there are two words. One is the helping word and the other one is the main word. And this main word is the third form of the word. Give, gave, given. Take, took, taken. Bring, brought, brought. Throw, threw, thrown. Like this, in the passive voice, we always write the past participle form of the verb. And given cannot be written independently, and so we use a helping verb. And this helping verb depends upon the subject. Suppose instead of apple, there was, imagine there was an apple, here it would not be word, it is was given by a So, <coughs> Raju gives a lecture. Raju gives a lecture. Here, it is in present time. Say, Raju is the subject, you is the verb, I is the object. And all that time, look at this one, this is present tense. So, letter is singular, so it becomes a letter is given. Sorry, a lecture, not a letter. A lecture is given by a So, you should be very careful whether the subject is a singular or plural and the verb also is present tense or past tense. These two areas you should bear in mind because the rule is that the subject and the verb always must balance together. There should be an agreement between the subject and the verb. Subject and subject verb agreement I told you it is also called a concord. Yes. Raju will be given a present. Raju will give a present. Here, Raju is the subject, will give the verb, a present in the object. This becomes a present. This will do will be. When will be comes here, this will be comes here. What will be given by Raju. So like this, give can be used, take can be used, throw can be used, write can be used, read can be used. The book is read by me. Students read books. Books are read by students. Here, if you analyze these two pairs of sentences, these three pairs of sentences, each pair has two sentences. The meaning of the sentences is not changing. But the way in which it is written is changing. That's all. So, active voice and passive voice are two ways of writing the same sentence. It is two ways of writing the same sentence. One is the active way and the other is the passive way. Now, look at this sentence. We go home. After the classes, after completing the work and all the things, that is here, V is the subject, right? Go is the verb, home is the object. Can we change this sentence in the same way as we have changed these sentences? Look at the sentence. Think of and deliver by you, change. And find out if that sentence gives an acceptable meaning or not. Let me try 
home match. And here home is a present tense. So home is singular. Home is a third form of the verb is a gone match. Home is gone by others. Home is gone by others. The meaning of the sentence is totally unacceptable. It is totally unacceptable. Now look at this one. Students come to school. Students come to school. Subject, verb, object. And you cannot change this at all. And to school comes to the first place. To school is come by students. And this also is totally unacceptable. So verb. verbs are of two types. One is transitive. And the other one is intransitive. <laughs> transitive is can be transferred, can be changed, can be written in another form. Intransitive is it cannot be changed, it cannot be written in another form. So transitive word is that word which can be written in both active words and passive words. Intransitive word is that word which cannot be written in any other form. It is written only in an active form. So this you should make the difference. When you look at the sentence, find out whether it can be transferred or not. Intransitive words are not given for your testing or examination or assignments. You should know that something can be done in two ways or an idea can be expressed in two ways. If the subject is prominent, give prominence to subject. If the agent is prominent, give prominence to agent. If the agent is not prominent, give prominence to object. Now we will go to the details of the, this one. First we have understood the parts of an active voice sentence, subject, verb and object and we have seen how subject and verb undergo changes and then we have seen there are two kinds of verbs, one is transitive verb and the other one is the intransitive verb. Every active voice sentence to be transferred to passive voice sentence must have a transitive verb. Let's take some sentence and write it in all other ways, all other tense forms. Rose, cell, flowers. Those are in the subject, cells is the, the verb, flaws is the object, subject, verb, object. Flaws, see, roja is singular, so it is a cell. Flaws are, is plural, so it is a, or sold, cell, sold, so, or sold. By Roja. Roja sells a garden. Roja is subject, sells his work, a garden is an author. A garden. What is that? 
number of this carbon it is single so our carbon is sold by low charge our garland is sold by low charge so this is how the present tense verb is a chain take for example there is continuous tense Roja is selling flowers. Here it is present continuous tense. This is present tense. This is present continuous tense or past continuous tense, something like that. Flowers, because it is past here, it is becomes a past. to make this one passive being is a used flowers are being sold by roja flowers are being sold by roja coming to another sentence roja is selling a garden Come on, try to do this one. Roja is selling a car, which is a subject. Roja is the subject. Verb is selling is the verb. A car is the object. Now do it in the same way as we have done the other sentences. A car name object comes becomes the subject. A car name. E because it is a selling to make sold we have to make we have to bring in be sold by roja roja is selling the flowers this one is present tense this is present continuous tense let us see this in past continuous roja is roja is selling so past continuous roja was selling vegetables roja was selling Vegetables. Here, Roja is the subject. Was selling is the verb, and vegetables is the object. Object becomes sub. Vegetables. See, Roja is singular, so it is was selling. Vegetables is plural, so was becomes a verb. To make this selling sold, we have to use. Being vegetables were being sold by Roja. Vegetables were being sold by Roja. And we shall make another sentence in past continuous singular. Roja was selling. A coconut. Roja was selling a coconut. Roja is the subject. Was selling is the verb. A coconut is the object. And a coconut becomes the object here. A coconut was remains the same. See, vegetables is vegetables is plural, so it becomes verb. Coconut is singular. So was remains the same. Once again, be sold by Roja. Our coconut was being sold by Roja. So this one is past 
continuous tense. See, self is a present tense singular, self is a present tense plural, soul is a past tense. So, what are we doing here? We are trying to change past tense verb from the transitive to the transitive, active words to passive words. Our line on this side, our line, because it is past tense and here it is singular. It becomes was sold. Our order was sold by the car. Our garden was sold by Rosa. The same one, Rosa sold flowers. See. I have taken only short sentences because it will be convenient for you to understand very easily. Whatever be the length of the sentence, if you can recognize subject, verb, or object, you can change the lengthiest sentence also easily from active words to passive words. See, Roja sold a garland to the customers in the market. Long sentence. All those things are not necessary for us. We have to concentrate our attention on those words, subject, words, object. All those things remain in the same place. Early in the morning, for example, it is a time would be here. Once upon a time, it is a time would be here. If such time would be here, are there, you can bring them either to the end of the sentence or to the beginning of the sentence. So here, Roja sold flowers and flowers is a plural. So sold becomes a word sold by Roja. Flowers were sold by Roja. And these four sentences are past tense. Past tense sentence. So present tense, present continuous tense, past continuous tense, past tense. Now come to the perfect use. Look at this one. Roja has sold a garden. Roja has sold a garden. Roja is the subject. Has sold the verb and other here. It is has sold, so it is called present perfect tense. Look at this one. A garland comes to the first place, subject place, and has remained the same because it is a garland singular. Has been sold. Being sold by Roja. A garland has been sold by Roja. And the same sentence to make it plural, for example. Roja has sold her cross. Only flaws. Rajas, Roja, sold flaws. Flaws comes to the first place. It becomes subject. 
When the subject is plural, verb also must be plural. This is present in singular and the past present in plural is have. Been sold, not have sold. Been is added to make it passive. Flowers have been sold by the job. Flowers have been sold by the job. Subject is singular, so verb is singular. Subject is plural, verb is plural. <coughs> there is another perfective. It is the past perfective. Past perfective is always represented by had. Had given. Had been given. I had a bicycle. She had a bicycle. They had a bicycle. You had a bicycle. Or we had a bicycle. What do these sentences show? These sentences show that had had no present plural and singular discrimination. Had is both singular and plural. It can be used for both singular subjects and plural subjects. Look at this one. Roja had sold flowers. Now flowers comes to the first place. Flowers. Here it does not change. Had does not change because it is past tense. If it is present tense, for singular we use has, for plural we use have. But here had remains the same. Had been sold by Flowers have been sold by road. Now we come to the other tense, that is future tense or models, using models for what we do. Flops. No, no, we will sell flops. See, this will, all models, will do good, they shall be shown, they can be shown, they might, must, these are all used to work for singular and both. There is no separate word for singular, separate word for two. Look at this one. Roja is the subject, will sell is the verb, and Lord's is the object. Lord's will become, will be, will be sold by Roja. Lord's will be sold by Roja. Will 
cell. So, if there is will, it becomes will be. If there is shall, it becomes shall be. Would, would be. Should, should be. Can, can be. Could, could be. May, may be. Might, might be. Must, must be. Rojama must sell vegetables. Roja must sell vegetables. Look at this one. Vegetables must be sold. Must become the must be sold by Roja. Another one. Roja can Selling garlands. Garland or garlands both because can does not change. Roja can sell garlands. Garlands from this side. Garlands can become sir, can be sold by Roja. So in case of model or future tense sentences, whatever be the model, B is added and the verb is changed to third form of the verb. So students, this is how you have to change a sentence from active voice to passive voice. And I have told you that you cannot change all verbs into Take for example one more sentence that will come to my mind. <coughs> it rained on the hill. It rained on the hill. It is a subject rain in the world and on the hill is the object. So you cannot change this one. This is also a verb, but you cannot change this one into is rain or was rain or was rain or has been rain or has been rain. And you cannot change this sentence into passive voice. It is kept in active voice only. Sleep for example. It is a verb and you cannot change that from active voice to passive voice. He sleeps on the bed. You cannot say on the bed. He is left by him. So only transitive verbs can be changed from active voice to passive voice, but intransitive verbs cannot be changed from active voice to passive voice. I will send you one exercise as homework from 20 sentences. And all the 20 sentences will be written in different tenses and bearing these things in mind, changes in mind, and my explanation in mind, you change them from active voice to passive voice. That is an active voice and passive voice. This is an important area of your study in grammar. Whichever class you go, you have this grammar section. And whichever is the level of your study, these are the rules which are applied. They say don't change the all from level to level. Whether you are in high school, or PU, or graduation, or post-graduation, or you take up some competitive examinations, you appear for IAS and IAS, IPS examinations, these rules remain the same. 
indirect speech. What is this direct, indirect, non-direct, all these things? Eh? This also is eh, two ways of saying things as well. One is the direct way and the other one is the indirect way. Or reporting. If your father has said something to you, you can pass on that something to your mother in two ways. One is the direct way and the other one is the indirect way. Take for example, I told you yesterday, do your homework. You go and inform the same thing to your friend. You can say, the principal said, do your homework. And that do your homework is the exact words spoken by the principal or the teacher. If there is any part like that spoken by a person, that is kept inside the inverted comma. I do the same example. The principal said, do your homework. Do your homework. See, this is the exact words spoken by the principal. Now, you are reporting it to your friend or you are telling your mother. Then you can say, the principal said, the common begin there is no do your homework, close your homework, you stop. That is direct way. But it is very clumsy. It is very awkward. It is very complicated. In a very simple way, in a pleasant way, you can say, the principal, said this, do your homework is an instruction or a suggestion. So, the principal suggested to do my homework or his homework or homework like that. Because you are saying it, it refers to you, then you say the principal suggested to do my homework. Or the principal suggested us, the entire class, to do our homework. Or if you are narrating that in the third person, then you say the principal suggested to do his homework or her homework or their homework like that. Suppose your friend says, I want to become a te teacher. His name is Prasad Prasad. The sub said, Kamam Yuri Mama, I want to be a teacher, or I want to become a teacher. <coughs> Here, you have to study this principle. This is outside the university. It is called a principal class. I have already told you about this one and I have to look up. Words, phrases, and clauses, and sentences. This is principal class. It can stand independently. I want to be a teacher is a subordinate class. A dependent class. In between this principal class and subordinate class, we will come under the inverted comma. They are inverted. 
Yes, no questions begin with the helping verbs and question type or statements followed by question. And all of them end with the question mark. These things you should remember. And the fourth one is an exclamatory sentence. You may use exclamatories also in a direct speech. These exclamatories express your sudden emotions. Sudden emotions. And they begin with the what or how. What or how. And they end with the, an exclamatory mark. So these things you should bear in mind. You should know the sentence will say the inverted comma should be either statement or question or imperative or exclamatory. Depending upon that, you have to change the way of changing the sentence. You have to use the way of changing the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech. So go back to your this one. Types of sentences, read all of them, observe the examples given there, and we shall start this direct and indirect speech in the next video. Now I shall send you questions for homework on active voice and passive voice, and you have to solve them as your homework. Thank you very much.